What's up guys? A week has passed since I first set up this ecosphere. So let's take a look and see if we can find any more life. All right, so let's take a look inside of our tiny ecosystem and let's see if anything survived. Upon first inspection, everything looks very quiet and very still. As we look through all the vegetation, there really isn't much movement and there isn't really any signs of life. Just as I was about to give up and consider this a failed ecosphere, I discovered tons of life teeming on the surface of the glass. It's not in the vegetation that everything's hanging out, it's actually on the surface of the glass. Here in this scene, you can see three separate species co-mingling. That worm thing to me looks super cool. I love that it's clear and we can see through it. So let's take a look at more of this worm. After looking around, I actually found more than one of these worms. How they all formed in only a week is beyond me, but there's quite a few of them, probably five or six I've seen so far. I love how they just glide across the surface of the glass, just exploring, and I like that they actually look as if they're made of crystal or glass themselves. Now, after discovering these interesting creatures, I decided to do a little bit of research. And from what I can tell, this is some sort of freshwater worm, more specifically, the Nididae. I'll show you a link to a, a Wikipedia article about these, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. If anybody else knows exactly what this is, please let me know in the comments. This thing is very cool and I'm very curious about it. Again, I really just enjoy watching this thing glide around on the glass. It's pretty cool, and as you can see in this footage right here, it seems to be kind of cruising past like a cluster of eggs. I wonder whose eggs these are. Is it possibly one of these needed days, or is it something else in this thing? I'm not really sure. Here's one more possible needed day. This one's a little different though because it's much shorter in length. So I'm not sure if it's the same species or something totally different. Again, I made another discovery. This thing looked like a very short worm and it moved very strangely. I think this could be some sort of flatworm, but again, this one was very hard for me to try and identify. Following the flatworm's movement, I discovered another species called an ostracod. This thing is a little football shaped guy that just kind of wiggles around and swims really rapidly through the water. I don't know if you remember from the first episode, but we did have terrestrial creatures in this jar. And if you look, they are still alive and well. I counted one or two, so maybe they're still breeding and maybe we'll continue to have a population. If you guys are looking for a familiar face like we saw last week, I'll have you know that the little red water mite is doing well. He seems to be crawling around happily just like he was last week. Guess what? This week I made a discovery and here he is. This thing is a massive snail. I have no idea where it came from. When I first built this thing, I didn't see anything that would resemble the snail this large. So I don't know if it can grow very fast in just a week and it was a tiny baby or what. But this thing is actually pretty large compared to everything else in the tank. I'm very excited to have a snail in here and I wonder what's going to happen. I really get a kick out of just watching this little snail's mouth move. It just keeps on chomping everywhere it goes. Just chomp, chomp, chomp. Just eating algae off the glass. I'm so happy that we got lucky enough to have something large like this in the jar. It's pretty awesome. Although he's very difficult to film because he just never stops moving and he never stops eating. But I did my best to get you the best footage I could. I think so far for our first week in this ecosphere we are doing well and I'm so happy that everything like woke up from hibernation. Well guys that pretty much sums up this video. It was really awesome to see all this life come out of hibernation from the winter waters. If you guys really like this video, stay tuned because I got more coming and we get to see where life goes and what happens to this ecosphere. Thanks again for watching. If you really liked it, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.